Welcome to episode 23 of The Lincolns. As you remember, we were doing the renovation on the second floor of Lincoln Manor. Just touch doing the final touches on the kids' bedroom. And no, they don't have a kid yet, but they're looking to adapt, so they want to make sure that he or she has a great um, room. Now, this is kind of funny. I wanted to get rid of that area and make that open air, but um, you can't delete tiles that have water in them, so they're just going to have to stay until I can get someone to clean them up. Then I'll get rid of them. And you might be saying, whoa, you're building a, second, a third floor? And to that I respond, yes, I am building a third floor, but I'm not really going to do much with it at this point. It's going to be mainly a placeholder. I mean, as much money as they do have, I don't want to, um, you know, spend it all totally developing the third floor. I just want the option to be there for uh, later on, later expansions. So, here I just mess with the roofs for a little while. Eventually, uh, deciding on this tall one. There we go. Makes the house look rather tall, which I suppose isn't a bad thing. So there we go. Doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty imposing, almost. So what we're going to do is just fill this third floor with the cheapest carpeting available, just to be a placeholder for now. And perhaps in the future we will develop it. But that's for another day. Anyway, finishing up some of the uh, uh, wallpapering. Just want to move the door over there. Don't want to change Mike's room. At his age, he probably just prefers things to stay the way they are for him. So, we're just going to move the door, but that's about it. And also, time to do something about these windows. Yes, the um, window every other tile thing never looked too good. So, we're going to begin the process of building nicer windows. That let more light in. But before we do that, I want a little balcony thing from Sue and Edith's bedroom. And the main purpose of this balcony is to gaze out the telescope. This was, um, of course, a gift bequeathed to um, Sue by her mother. And uh, Sue will look at it from time to time because she will probably need logic points in her business career. Also, Edith is also a fortune, I mean, a knowledge sim, so she'll probably want to look at it too. So I make the balcony a little too small at first, so I to enlarge it just a tiny bit and that should be a-okay so I'll take it and put it up there and put a door and there we go now time for some nice big double windows yes pretty much floor to ceiling windows that let lots of lights in and we're gonna put curtains on those windows very reminiscent of um, what uh, Edith grew up with in the um, Everett house, which I showed you ages ago, and they probably turned up a few times in this, um, in the Lincoln's previous episodes. So I had a debate between what kind of uh, curtains I went for a while before. They decided on some nice thick ones. Definitely has a much more stately look than just a bunch of random windows. That almost looked institutional. Eventually we'll do, do up the in entire house in a new uh, window scheme, but for now that should do, at least for that room. I just don't want to overdo it with the windows. Oops. I've got to continue the wallpaper here. Yes, things are really taking shape here, and I think it's um, it's a good thing. Yes. This room is basically, in part, my response to people who say that my design skills suck. <laughs> Which is generally true, but I'm making an effort to make decent looking rooms. At least for now. 
And we'll, we're going to give this future child a lot of bright, um, a lot of bright windows. Of course, we're going to give him or her some tall curtains. I haven't decided whether it's a boy or a girl yet. In fact, I don't remember if you get to choose, but either way, boy or girl will be fine. All right, gotta do some more wallpapering. Gotta do the bathroom up. And gotta do the hallway. There we go, that's starting to look better. Yeah, it really is hardly recognizable from uh, how it started out. We need some hall lights, just so that there's light when they're walking around at night. So they don't bump into things and hit the wall. Not that they actually would, but it's still nice to have light. Alright, yes, and all that carpeted area we will get rid of as soon as that stupid puddle has been mopped up once and for all. Get rid of those. That balcony. We'll put another balcony in later, of course, after things have been mopped up. Now we have some pretty inconsistent windows here, but that's A-OK. -okay. You're not going to see me crying over that. Like I said, we'll redo the windows later, but that's not something for now. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the redone second floor. I hope all of you guys like it. And now that that's done, we return to live mode. And as they sit in the table and chat, in their minds all this went on in an instant. It just appeared. But yes, all this was Sue's doing. She set it up the way that she likes it. Well anyway, it's time for Sue to go off to work. Yes, um, it's still one of her first days of work as an adult, that is. And she already has a nice ride, something that everyone else had to wait a while to get. So now, Mike is going to call over one of his grandsons. Yes, we, everyone likes when their grandsons visit. So we're going to try to get James to come over. And here we have the repairman coming to uh, fix some issues. I, I remember there was a leaky ba bathtub that we deleted, but I'm pretty sure there's more that's broken. So, yes. Mike greets his oldest grandchild. The two of them have certainly formed a pretty good bond in the last few um, in the last few years of little. James's life. I'd imagine he's maybe eight or nine right now because he's about halfway through his childhood days. So yes, the two of them are having lots of fun. And now the food delivery is here. It's always good <laughs> to deliver food, as Edith found out as she tried to uh, make something. And now, Mike and James enjoy a nice game of chess. A short game because James wants to go swimming. Now, of course, they have a swimming pool where he lives at the Summer Dream House. But he still likes this one. This one is indoor. So I assume it's a lot warmer. Not like it ever gets cold in uh, <laughs> SimWorld. At least not until you buy the Seasons expansion pack, which I obviously do not have. Yes, and Edith wants to dive into. And even though she also grew up in a house with a pool, she's still a free cat. And she doesn't want to, uh, doesn't want to dive. I find that to be quite funny. But it's all good. So, the two of them continue chatting. And Mike comes up to talk as well. He enjoys these family gatherings. He, you know, even though he worked hard in his athletic career his entire life, it's his family that he's the most proud of. And that's what he wants to remember and be remembered by. Are not the uh, things that he did in his life, but rather the people that he helped to create and raise. And uh, indirectly raise in the case of 
James and all the other descendants of uh, Mike. So, Edith finally gets over her fear and dives into the water. So, Mike has a little lunch there. Edith cleaning up. Soon it will be time for Sue to return home from uh, from work. Mm -hmm. That'd be a good thing. Mike wants to get to know uh, Sue's new uh, wife there. It's just, um, he is very interested to get to know a new family member. And anyway, Mike made another phone call and little George has decided to come over. Yep, Amanda's oldest son. And the second oldest of his grandchildren. Has decided to come for dinner and to hang out. Yes. Now I imagine George is about five or so, because he just became a child. But here is Sue, going from work and take a look at that. She's promoted to executive, yes, at that young age. She chats with uh, Mike and George. I'm sure she's very happy to receive her promotion. She's fitting into her fortune aspiration very well. And here comes Edith to welcome her home. While the two cousins uh, meet as children for the first time, other than that brief time in the mansion. And yes, will they grow up to be friends or not? Well, that's just something we're going to have to see. Well, Sue and Edith decide to play a game of chess while Mike gets some dinner ready for the family. And I'm afraid that's what we're going to have to leave it at for now. So. Join us next time for some more Lincoln family fun. So long.